Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to route uh, out of playback into Dante to get into your mixer. So this uh, assumes you already have Dante set up. So I do have a different video that would show you how to set up Dante. But let's assume you have Dante set up, you're already using it on your computer, you have Dante Virtual Sound Card installed, and you have playback installed, and you wanna learn how to route each of those tracks out of playback into your mixer. So let's look at the settings. So in multitracks.com playback, I have Sam God loaded. You can see all the tracks here. Uh, there is a total of 19 tracks available. So I do have Dante, which Dante technically gives me 64 channels on the Behringer Wing to work with, um, but playback only gives you access to technically to 16 of those channels, or if you run stereo, it would give you access to 32. But you can only do 16 pairs of track buses out of playback. So you have to pare down those 19 and pick where they go. So if we jump into settings on playback, uh, real quick, you have your track section. I have a different video that kind of goes through this. You have to pair the tracks into buses. So let's jump over to buses and you do have the 16 buses available. So these are predetermined, they are pre-patched, uh, but you're likely gonna need to patch them differently. You can't rename them, uh, but you can use them however you want. So you can see my patching here and I am using channels one through 16 uh, on Dante. So uh, one quick note, if you go back to general, obviously you have to, under audio device, you have to have this set to your Dante virtual sound card for this to work, or else you won't have access to all 16 of those channels. So back to buses, it's as simple as clicking on the bus, so in this case I clicked on the click bus, and you can choose your channel. Now you can double these up, so if you don't want to use 16 or if you don't have 16 faders available on your mixer, you can pair them up. So, you know, I could do click as 14 and I could also do guide as 14 and it would just put it in the same channel. I didn't update that. There we go. So now click and guide are both in 14. So you can share those or you can do them individually. So you can see how simple this is. You're just going to click on drums and say I want this in channel 1. That's channel one of Dante in this uh, scenario. And that's it. So when you play playback, it'll play out those channels and you'll be good to go. The only thing you cannot double up uh, channels on is your SMPTE timecode. If you are using that feature, it forces you to use its own channel for that. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.